Hey everybody, Nick here, and today we have a little assembly maintenance to do on this little guy right here. This is the um, A Purvis Blades Progeny, I think? Yeah, I think so. Either way, oh, and I can lower this down. I was just working on the cricket, um, the, 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 the cricket ginormous here, the, the shock. And so uh, I had the thing zoomed out a little bit, but this should be a little bit more straightforward, right? Okay, so... Let's go ahead and pop this loose. T10 is not what is required here. T8. Let's try T8 instead. There we go. Beautiful. Easy peasy. Lemon freaking squeezy. Let us pop this in there. Pop that out. Beautiful. Take that out. And then do I have to remove the clip? Probably. All right. Whoa. And we are disassembling. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Let's go. We can do some good in here. Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> nice. All right. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is clean this guy out. Um, The reason I say we can do some good is I see some gunk in here. So when we remove this gunk, we should be a little bit better off. Um, interestingly, there is very, very little contact surface right there. I don't think that actually matters in the grand scheme of things, but uh, that's very unusual, that particular design. Um, pop this out of here. Clean that up. Oh, there's some nastiness in there. You can see here there's a steel washer on top of the... Um, there is a steel washer right on top of the, the titanium there. And it seems to be riding on a bed of grease, which is strange. Um, unfortunately, that steel washer is sort of not properly sized for everything else. Maybe it is properly sized once the pivot is in place. That could be. It's sized for the pivot rather than for the cavity. Whatever. I could work with it. Go ahead and pop this out of here. We'll clean this out here. Beautiful. Uh, blade is clean. Let's get you out of the way for the moment. This part here is freaking spick and span over there. Whoa! Okay there. And I shot a pivot at my face at high speed. That's okay. Won't be the first time, won't be the last time. This is why you wear a Batman mask for safety. <laughs> All righty. Beautiful. Popping this loose. We are popping and locking here. Doesn't make any sense. No breakdancing has occurred. In fact, in my life, no breakdancing will occur. Not that I have anything against breakdancing particularly, but um, I'm just not good at any kind of dancing. I suspect I would break something. For those of you unfamiliar, popping and locking is, I believe, a style of breakdance. All right, moving along and talking about pocket knives that I'm disassembling rather than breakdancing. Let's go ahead and loop this guy back up and put it back together. Um, if you're curious about any of the tools I'm using here today, go ahead and check out my knife disassembly toolkit. I'm going to go ahead and use some knife pivot lube here. Pop this into position. That was way too much lubrication, but that's okay. Um, now let's go ahead and drop on a washer or two. Or a bearing or two, that is. I generally recommend that if a knife ships with two bearings, you install two bearings. I've tried the other way on a live stream once. It was not one of my best moments, I'll admit. I am going to slide that there. Okay, next step is to put the blade on. Go ahead and drop some lubricity right there. Where the heck is the stop pin? Stop pin is here. I'll go ahead and drop the stop here. Beautiful. I'm going to put a little bit of lube into the stop pin track here. There we go. Boom. Big bang. Boom. There we go. Boom. Boom. Boomity. Boomity. Okay. Now... What do we have here? 
uh, lubricate the ceramic pivot ball. Nice. By the way, internal milling here. Notice. Nice. Easy. All right. Uh, how do I put this back together? What's wrong with my life? Many things, actually. Oh, that's what. There's a D-shape to the pivot. And so, the pivot was not facing the right direction, and therefore, it was not going to come back together. Because there's a D-shape here, and there's a D-shape here, and they need to be facing one another. So, I will go ahead and drop the scale on here. And then I'll actually use the body of the knife itself to move the pivot into the right position. I'll put that there. Okay, next step is Loctite. I need... I'm going to go ahead and use the weight of my arm to keep that in position. We'll apply some Loctite on a stick here. Maybe go a little... There we go. Thank you very much to my buddy Mike for lending me this knife. I've not taken too many loaners, but Mike said to me that he didn't have any time constraint with it whatsoever. And that made things a lot easier. Mike is actually entertainingly the guy who lent me the North Arm Knives Skaha originally, which I said, Mike, you're not getting this knife back. And he said, okay. So he is the source of all of North Arm's problems, actually. So... Yeah, thanks, Mike. Or as Northam would say, screw you, Mike. There we go. No blade play? A little tight, maybe. No blade play? Beautiful. There we go. All set. 7 minutes, 14 seconds. That's a beautiful thing. Alrighty. Hope this has been interesting to you. And have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Bye now.